Hey guys, well we got the uh, LG RESU 16H battery in. Um, this is the one that's uh, that's UL approved. I, I think it's probably the best priced battery if you're going to put a UL approved system in with say like a Solus X, S6. I think this is going to be your best price option. It's a 16 kilowatt hour battery and uh, we're going to do an unboxing today and take a look at it, see what it looks like. All right, let's, let's get to it here. Some tough straps there. Oh, see how we're gonna. Yeah, okay. Pull our sides up. This thing weighs 400 pounds. Actually, shipped its. 410 pounds so not a lightweight see what we got here we got the battery control unit it says bundled box Rizu 16h prime bundled box what's in there maybe cables or something that's pretty light control unit Probably about 60 pounds or so. Let's open this one first, see what's in there. Well, not a whole bunch in there. Manuals. Bracket. Oh, there's some stuff underneath too. Another bracket. Some screws. Let's see what's under there. Oh, yeah, a bunch of stuff down there. Got a cast, cast aluminum, I don't know if this is the base, looks like it might be, might be the base. Uh, some plastic stuff, some more screws. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This is the control unit. Spacer used for assembly and disassembly. All right. Let's see. Should set something up that we can put this stuff on. 
For now, I'll put it on that box. This is the top control unit. Make sure you guys can still see that. Battery plugs. Let me bring you guys in. I wonder. Right, this. Now there's two different cells that go in here to make up the battery. There's the plug there. Um, you see another plug here. I wonder if this this must be yeah that that's this must be for the high voltage and this is the communication cable. Let's see what we got here. Forty amp, six hundred volt breaker. Put you back up here. Pretty hefty. All right, let's see if we can handle these batteries. That is heavy. Okay. Got the connectors underneath here. So let's place the spacer here. So that must be those two. When you're assembling, where'd they go? When you 
they're assembling this thing. I guess put the spacer across there to hold the um, the control unit up above here so you can get the cables plugged in. Now, I'm not going to pull the other battery out right now because I got to figure out. I'm going to put this one up against this wall, I guess. Um, what I plan on doing, I'm going to get another S6, 11.4 um, kilowatt, and I'm going to use this battery on, on that inverter, uh, mount everything on this wall, and then uh, eventually get some panels up on the roof here. So, all right, let me, let me grab you guys and we'll take a little tour around the battery. We've got the, don't remove this because there's a risk of electrical shock, it says. <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like a pretty simple, straightforward assembly. The only thing is it's it's heavy and I don't know what the configuration is gonna be like. There's supposed to be some hoops that you gotta jump through. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what that's like when I get to that point. So I think that's going to be about it for now. I just wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing on this thing and I mean it's the first time I've seen one too so we'll take it from here I guess. Alright guys, I appreciate you and if you like uh, watching this kind of stuff, sure would appreciate a um, a like and a subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you later. Oh, one more thing. I got a new camera, and I got one of these little DJI mini mics, mic minis, whatever. Just wondering how the uh, how the video and the audio is. I hope it's a lot better. I know that uh, <laughs> some of the audio in the past has been pretty horrific. All right, catch you guys later.